flight controllers. Give me a go, no, go for launch. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. Fido. We're go fly. Tell me. Go. Control. Go fly. Procedures. Go. Network. We are go. We are go. We are go for launch. Prepare to launch in five, four, three, two, one. Audio Missile Podcast. And we're back. Audio Missile Podcast is back. Today we have uh, two guests. We have uh, Shannon. Hello. Hi, Hi, everyone. And we have uh, Manny. Thank you again for having me. Okay, if you're famous <laughs> and you're on Twitter or on Facebook or on TikTok or wherever the, whatever app you're on, you need to watch your actions because you have followers and people find out about the stupid shit you do instantly. Right, Cordell? Oh, that's right. Tell us that's more right. About it. Well, you got the the TikTok star uh, Josh Popkin, who goes by the name of Fug Joshy. Three million, yeah, three million followers on TikTok. Mm-hmm. So your boy got an idea to get a viral video. Hops on the NYC subway in New York there, and the essential workers are going to work. He pulls out this giant box, and he tips cereal and milk all over the subway. Spills it everywhere. People are freaking out. They got masks on. He has no mask on. That's nasty. He's flinging cereal around the subway. I would have drowned that sucker in the milk if he spilled in the subway and shit. He filmed it, put it put it on TikTok. It went viral. And then he, he skipped. And so now... So isn't that like some kind of crime? I mean, I just can't go on the subway and fucking do anything crazy. Like that dump shit in the middle of the aisle. Wouldn't that get me in trouble? So now the police are looking for him. Yeah, you should go to jail for some shit like that. Yeah, like coughing on the produce at the store and stuff like that. Well, you're that. in the middle of a pandemic, first off, and you're doing stupid shit like that. You must have really a lot of time, or you're really fucking privileged with no fucking sense of reality. You know, he he does these little stunts, and they go viral a lot, but this time... Like Jackass. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Jackass, you know, and so uh, that leads us into uh, the next homie who did something online what app was he on uh cuts like a knife on twitter and instagram oh shit, your favorite man. song cuts like a knife cuts like a knife brian adams oh shit yeah the, the famous canadian musician uh, brian adams he was about to go on tour so he's canadian yeah and he's, he's in controversy, yeah, he in controversy right now yeah he is canadian oh wow what happened not well, like it's the only canadian that gets involved in shit just the beaver was in shit all the fucking time right so let's right, continue. right. And well, what happened? well this is what happened uh he was going to do a tour at actually a Tennessee at uh, Royal Albert Hall, which is a very uh, upscale, famous oh, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happen, yeah. A lot of big dance oh, of course, of course. Live from Royal Albert Hall. Well, yeah. guess what? They canceled it due to coronavirus. And he, instead of being a good sport like everyone else, he got pissed. He went on Twitter and said, you know what? Tonight I was supposed to be the beginning of my gigs at Royal Albert Hall. But thanks to some fucking bat eating, what? <laughs> yeah, greedy bastards. Okay, first of all, <laughs> oh my God. what's wrong with eating bats? Bats are delicious. That's what it stands for, B-A-T. Yeah. I've heard that. Bats Vampire are delicious. Bat. B-A-T. <laughs> they drink the blood of other animals. Well, here's the thing that people don't know about bats. They can uh, carry a disease like Ebola or rabies or something and pass it on without getting sick. That's why they were studying them in the first place, but we're not supposed to talk about that. We'll talk about that later. But like I was saying, Brian Adams. At the Wuhan laboratories. Yes. And so cuts like a knife. And as he was talking shit, he had cuts like a knife playing in the background. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he promoted himself Just so at the he, same we all time. Know how cheesy he really is. Senseless promotion, like you know, our shameless promotion. Some people, even as they're ranting and raving, they still gotta. Well, you know what? Some people get angry and they don't think about what they say and they just shout out, blurt out whatever the first thing that comes to their mind. And I've done that before, but I'm not famous. Well, he so, deleted it, just so you know, like they all do. Once you push it, the in cathartic and fucking rage. Forever. Somebody screenshot it, recorded it. You know, it's, it's called the forever. It's called the Wayback Machine, and that literally <laughs> is the name. You go on Google, type in the word Wayback Machine, type in anybody's name that you want to know, and it'll pull up all their old shit that they deleted. The um. Dirty, dirty, dirty. You are listening to the Audio Missile Podcast. Technology is not your friend, oh. okay? Remember, if you have important crap, 
Back that shit up offline. If you're online, people can get to your fucking stuff. What's happened this week, Cordell? Well, once again, we got uh, people getting hacked, as usual. So, you remember a while back we talked about Our Mind, the hacker group. Uh, they hacked Facebook in like mid uh, February. You know, they hacked Facebook there and got all the passwords, and Facebook was really scared about that. You know, and they didn't do anything with that information because they think they're like white hat hackers, you know. They're not gonna, trying to exploit people. What can you really do with people's password on fucking Facebook? Oh, well, hey. Like gain their pictures? And no. Shit. Up in the messages on Facebook, people say a lot of things. There's a lot of information up there. Meet me here. I got this. You got that. Don't tell your husband. You know. But you can't have... <laughs> can you have two accounts logged in at the same time? Or do you? can you only be logged in one? Oh, you can do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hackers can do create anything. Multiple you can, ones. Yeah, you can create multiple ones. They'll suck puppet accounts. As well, many screens as you have, I would, I would assume. Yeah. yeah, you know. And so now, a different hacking group this week, done it again. These guys are called R-Evil, spelled R-E-V-I-L, R-Evil. Oh, no, well, guess what? Instead of hacking the person directly and trying to get money from them, they hacked the lawyer of some rich and famous people and now is threatening for money. I heard so about this, this lawyer is a famous lawyer who represents Beyonce and Madonna and President Donald Trump. Donald Trump's part of it, but he doesn't represent him. Now, here's the lawyer's name. His name is attorney Alan Grubman. He represents mega stars such as Lady Gaga, Madonna, Mariah Carey, U2, Bruce Springsteen. I mean, U2 is worth couple two to three hundred yeah, million yeah, you combined you got a billion dollars combined yeah you know, one of those clients you'd be sad right but he right has a lot right. of those uh, a a celebrities right sure sure so he's representing people with the combined net worth in the billions okay. you know these artists and um so he's successful and he's rich yeah so he hacked into the to the lawyer's uh website it's to a server actually and he got 756 gigabytes of confidential documents wow. on all these different offers uh and he wants $42 million. Only? That's, well, they want $42 million. I mean, it's a hacker group. They can go with $42 well, million. <laughs> Look, if you have shit to hide and you're like really wealthy, I mean, $42 million is, is nothing to keep that quiet. I yeah. Mean, if yeah. the information is worth that kind of money, but if it's just stupid fucking different legal shit here and there, it, it's not really compromising, then no one would even care. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree, my man, you know. We've said uh, many a time, technology is not your friend. We talk about the ring. We talk about um, so many things that have got hacked. No, I have a question for you guys. If you guys were hackers, who would you hack? The Saudis. <laughs> the Saudis? The Saudi government? No, their bank accounts. Uh, you want to know how much money they have? No, I would transfer their 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 funds into my okay, account. Okay, okay. Well, you, you remember MBS? Mohammed bin uh, Salman, you know, he did it. He got all of his cousins up in the, the Hilton, held them hostage and told him, hey, give me your money. I bet. Yeah. Well, you know, you're going to die. And you're like, fuck it. What do I need my money for? I'm dead. <laughs> so you're like, fuck it, take, take it. As long as you leave me, uh, let me live. Yeah. Who would yeah. you hack? Um, who would I hack? What, Area 51? Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think, yeah, yeah, that's a great one. Well, I, I think you already said what everybody want to hack. Area 51, everybody wants to know what's there. What's <laughs> right. tied there, right? Right, right. The UFO's real? Or not NORAD, real? that's what I would hack. What's going on? NORAD, you, you want to be in charge of the nuclear codes, huh? Mm -hmm, absolutely. I would my finger on that button. There's also been a quote, a quote from Grubman that states, we will destroy your company down to the ground if we do not see the money. Oh, wow. Oh, no, they're playing wow. harder than Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know well, about I mean, that. If you're a fucking lawyer and then your client's information is out there, I mean, you lose credibility, right? Yeah. That could yeah. ruin your reputation. They added, Mr. Trump, if you want to stay president, poke a sharp stick at the guys. Otherwise, you may forget this ambition forever. Oh. No. And to you voters, we can let you know that after such a publication, you certainly don't want to see him as president. Mm. The deadline mm. is one week. Oh, oh, deadline is one wow. week. <laughs> and I wonder what they're going to take. Bitcoin, how are they going to pay the ransom? There's ways they're hackers. They, they, have you guys are hey, hacked? How about this? The hacker, oh, yeah. technically, a hacker can just take it from you anyways. 
I mean, that's just a nice way. If a hacker really wants, he could take it from your bank account. He just say, like, look, just make it easy for me. Don't make me have to work for it. So have you guys ever been hacked? Actually, yeah. yeah I've I, been hacked. I haven't ha <laughs> been hacked, but I've had my identity uh, Death, stolen. Sure. Where the IRS kind of got involved. Oh. And I had, like, this... 50 plus thousand debt with the oh. IRS. And, and, and then, Somebody setting so up listen, our boy right here so for listen, a jail sentence. <laughs> if I had to pay $50,000 plus in taxes, I wouldn't be needing to cheat the IRS because how much am I making initially? Like, sure, you know yeah, what right. I mean? Yeah, because yeah, if you owe $50,000 in taxes, uh, I, that was a good year. <laughs> that was a great year for me, right? <laughs> so I had to go through the whole process uh, and, and you know fill forms out, take days off out of work and go to their office in downtown. Well, one week, that's what the deadline is. So we'll check in with us next week and we'll give you the update. We'll know whether they paid out or if we know something, the dirty, dirty about Donald Trump or <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. Maybe I want to know. What is Bruce Springsteen up to? Whatever it is, I'm sure they'll still elect him again. <laughs> the boss.